All right, continuing where we left off. I think I saw something in that trash. Don't know what I thought I'd find in the trash other than trash. Well, pretty straightforward. Anything in this where the lamp is? Oh, what is there even to say about lamps? Do I have to have a thought about every single thing I have to look at? Pretty much, pretty much in a game like this. Yes, you do. Okay, I th I'm seeing something over here. I swear. I see something like keep on, that like keeps on blinking, I swear. All right. Okay, so do I have to keep, no wait, I have to look for fake blood, that's right. Sorry, I took like a little, few like hours of, of a break, so. Maybe it's in here, I don't know. Oh wait, what am I doing, what am I doing? I know where to look. God, I'm so blind. God. I took a small break and then all my knowledge of the game just goes away, wow. I have to go to Chai, or Chai, Chai. Hey, got any tomato sauce? I, I need fake blood for our show. Sure, you can buy it. Oh, uh, come on. I'm doing this to keep the roof over our heads. Can't give you any handouts, dude. Right now, I honestly need handouts more than ever, but fine. Wait, am I... Am I really thinking that Moxie is a... Moxie's a girl, right? I seriously think Moxie is like... Okay, thanks, Shy. Really feeling the support here. Oh, yeah, good luck with that thing. Why am I, why am I only the only one taking this seriously? At least now I have all the essentials. Although, this place could use some decorating to help set the mood. Try the back room, behind the fireplace. Whoa, good thinking. You're not useless after all. Bows. God, I, I did it, like, behind the screen. I did it for him. Okay, so, all right, secret passage. Nice. All right, so what's this? Hmm, switches? What's this one do? Uh, the lights went out, Moxie. If you've got to pay the bills, I'm gonna lose it. My bad, I'll fix it. Oh, cool. So, a little remote. You can control all the lights in this place, huh? How convenient. Now that I can actually see, I wonder what I'll find in here. Uh, I see a window. I see covered up stuff. Hmm, huh, this box. That curious face of Moxie. Yeah, yeah, I can see these old costumes and all these black tarp thingies. Now I have all the decorations I need. That was fairly quick. Hold on, I've got all these props, special effects, my actors, of course, not decorations for atmosphere. This means I have everything I need. I'll really be able to put on a show for those cats and make money. Is it possible? Can I really pull this off? What, do you really think you can't do it? You have no confidence? Can I really be the owner of the greatest murder in mystery theater slash hotel for the whole country? <laughs> oh, Moxie, you don't have any confidence, and now this happens? Now you're spinning in circles. Moxie is great. Moxie is saving her home. Moxie is going to save her friends. And best of all, Moxie is going to beat your expectations, Mom. Moxie gaining confidence for the first time in her life. Ah, no matter what challenges you throw at me, I've always been able to make my way through them. Invincible Moxie. Hmm, ha ha ha. I just need to get all this up and get my lackeys in the costume now. It's showtime. Good job, Moxie. Two hours of setup and rehearsal later. Good job, Moxie. I'm proud of you. Ooh, I like this. Welcome, esteemed guests, to Madame Saltworth's most magnificent birthday celebration. This is Moxie talking, right? Yeah. So, has the murder happened yet? When do we get to solve the mystery? Murder? Why, whatever could you mean, madam? I believe that's Moxie's talking. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Whispers, we should get in the character. That isn't the kind of question a guest should ask. Oh, so we're involved in a drama too. I love this. <laughs> I don't even know your name yet. <laughs> Yes, hello. Good day, chap. What kind of character was that? Um, please excuse my partner. She's kind, quite eccentric. Okay. Eccentric? I'm downright insane. Let's get this party started. I'm gonna give you that kind of voice. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Please come right this way and partake in the festivities. All right. Yeah, you're Moxie. Wow, how did I not know? I am so happy you can make it to this, my 18th birthday party. Soon I will be wedded to my fiancé, and he will own half of my estate. Okay. Half your estate? What a lucky fellow. After all, Madame Saltzworth, 
You are one of the richest young women in the entire world. Nice. Ho, ho, ho. You flatter me, Miss Moxiella. Moxiella? Yeah, Moxiella. Ho, 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 ho. All right. As your guests, we hope you beat the odds and have a long and happy marriage. Yet again, I don't know your name yet. Your well wishes mean the world to me. Guesses who names I do not know. See, yeah. Saltsworths, we don't know. We should keep a close eye on Madame Saltsworth. I have a feeling she'll be the one who... Oh, light switch! A light switch! Oh my, whoever could have turned on the lights? Out, out the lights. Allow me to remedy the situation. Shuffle, shuffle. Dot, 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 dot. Yes, I'm fixing it now. And... Oh no, a tragedy has befallen on our birthday girl. Ah, uh, we couldn't catch the killer before they had a chance to strike. That would have made things easier. Cough, cough. I have been stabbed. Irk, this is the end for me. I am dead now. <laughs> I'm so, that is kind of funny. I'm sorry. Madam Saltsworth, who could have done such a thing? My love, say it isn't so to have such a lovely flower plucked from this earth. Oh no. What cruel fate this world has bestowed on you. I cursed it. I curse you, foul fate. That's actually a really good drawing. I like that one. So you're the fiance. My condolences. If I may ask, did you dearly departed lover have any enemies perchance? What you're asking him that for? It's obvious he's the killer. He wanted the estate all to himself. Still don't know your name, and that's a good question actually. Or good good statement, yeah. They would have had to get married before he could have taken anything. Killing her first doesn't make any sense. True, true, true. Hey, you're really good at figuring this stuff out. Mystery cat, I still don't know. Psst, switch the lights on again so I could kill the witnesses and make my getaway. Oh, ah, suspicious individual. Is it you? You did it, didn't you? Wait, I can say, oh, wait, wait. Oh, I needed to save it. And I can't save it. Looks like they're on to you, Duchess Von Pepperoni. I like that last thing. Your days are numbered, criminal. Shh, busted. Wait, what? That went better than expected? Treats here! Yes, it, I'm happy about this. Oh, wolf, how scary. Uh, no. <laughs> Just shows up. <laughs> what? I don't know why I'm laughing. That was just amazingly timed. Is this still a part of the story, or do wolves come in here often? Uh, no, she's harmless. Don't worry about it. Uh, you put such a you put on such a good show. I feel awful saying this, but the fact that a wolf is here, I just don't know if it's safe for me and my partner to stay after all. No, what what I meant is, we have gotten a chance to rehearse this part of the story. That's right. It's a new addition. That wink face meaning everything's fine. I guess I was, oh, dang it, I keep skipping. <laughs> so she was another actress? Thank goodness. I was really nervous. I think having some ferocious as part of the cast will be really good to raise attention in your drama. Well, that's not to say I didn't enjoy the show as it was. You, you all did a wonderful job. Thanks. I'm glad you gave us a chance. It's the most fun I've had in a while. Moxie, you have a great attitude and a great sense of humor. Awesome. Oh, well, should I pay you for the room now? If you take cash. Yes, our rates are usually $90 a night, but I'm giving you a generous, excellent sleep discount. That'll be $75, please. Oh, how affordable. I'll include a tip to make it an even hundred. Really? Wow, thank you so much. Moxie, who's never seen money today, or actually $10, but hey. You've all earned it. Good night, then. And look at Saltsworth, still on the ground. I've made a hundred bucks today. We actually did it. It's amazing. Yippee. Yippee is right. If we keep this, keep this up, I could even own this place one day. Wait, so you don't own this place? Do you or do you not? I don't... Sure, but uh, before that, shouldn't you clear things up with your other actress? <laughs> right, um, oh, let's go to Treat. Treat's interaction, yay. How you doing, Treat? Hey, uh, I'm sure you heard all of that, huh? It was, uh, I was just, it's not really any of your business what's going on here. I mean, more importantly, 
Tree, you better have a good reason for coming in here without warning. I was this close to losing my guests. We're out of food. Okay, well, that is a pretty good reason. Sorry for coming in at a bad time. No, it's whatever. I'm, I'm not actually mad. <laughs> the clerk is gone. Can I still buy something? Nah, just take it. I'll just pay Chai back as soon as they notice what's missing. Hey, <laughs> if it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Moxie, come here a second. I love this freaking story in this game. Dang. You're not dead, so you could at least get up if you got something to say. Nah, never mind. Just thought someone would mention what happened last week. Sorry. I won't come here anymore if it's a problem. No, no, no. Forget about it. It's all water under the bridge. Visit our store as much as you want. Um, I hope... Uh, okay. Alright. Oh, great. Glad that's settled. Now my spirit can rest in peace. Goodbye, world. Don't leave us... <laughs> Stay, whisper, whisper, stay alive for like two more minutes. What am I supposed to do, dude? This is so awkward. You should probably start by not asking a corpse for advice. <laughs> oh, that's actually really funny. Hell of a Thanks for the food. I'm going home now. Oh, I don't know why I give Treat such a depressing voice. I don't know why. She's getting away. You heard the cat and we need a big scary wolf to impress our future guests. So tell her that. But things are all complicated. I can't ask her for favors. Hey now, not there your Moxie brand overconfidence go, huh? I've never seen you hesitate like this. You're right, I gotta be bold. That's the Moxie way. The Moxie way. Yep. Yep, always charging forward. That's why you're the hero and I'm the one lying dead on the floor. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, it's these three again. And, oh, I thought we were playing for a treat for a second. And here you go. We caught the murder. I had no idea it would be this fun. Be sure to tell your friends about me. Word of mouth is our livelihood. But where is my partner? Did they already go back up the room? Yep, the one that's been very generously paid for. That's so much for staying, deciding to stay. Yeah, it was a blast. You still don't know their names, by the way. Flawlessly performed a round of applause to all parties. You're way too into this. Mm-hmm. I almost regret taking this role. Almost. Thanks for your hard work, peps. <laughs> I love this freaking story. Uh, by the way, who, who is this? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I'm not really Hi, Treat. Oh, good, you're still here. It seemed like you had something you wanted to say. Right, uh, do you think, uh, maybe, <clears throat> let, let me start over. We're running an in-type deal now and doing some cool theater stuff for our guests. I think you're perfect for the role of Big Bad Wolf. You really think I'm suited for a role like that? Come on, don't make that face. You're the only wolf I know. Do you expect me to look for a bear or something instead? Moxie, I don't think you would survive like a bear. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea I, to try to use someone because you think that will be scary. Why not? People love the tension. And shouldn't I aim for the best production possible? Besides, it's not that I personally think you're scary. It's just, you know, everyone is afraid of wolves. I'm playing to that fear. I can't work for you. I already have a job. Wait, when did you get a job? Yeah, I'm on the Moxie page right now. What, where, since when? In the hot springs, a few days ago. Good job, Treat. Good freaking job. Ugh. And my star was already stolen away before the spotlight could even reach her. What's the poor Moxie to do? Get mochi. <laughs> Get mochi. <laughs> it seems like everyone had fun the way it was. Why do you have to change it? Because I can't just settle for good. I have to be better. With the good old wink face. Dot, 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 dot. Hmm. If you can't do it, maybe I'll up the stakes by doing the opposite direction on the food chain. Yep, you gotta get mochi. It's the same problem. They'll just make foxes look worse. What do you care? Just think about it. Evil foxes versus a little bunny? Your girlfriend would be really cute in that world. Um, we're not... It isn't like that. Oh, come on, Tree. You're blushing right now. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're suddenly moved in together, and you're telling me nothing's going on there? Moxie, you don't have to be that kind of type right now. We're just friends. 
okay, and she wouldn't want to be that kind of role either. You tell her, Treat. You tell her. Okay, bye then. Jeez, why bother waiting out here if you didn't secretly want to help me out? Well, that is a good question. Why was she waiting out here? She was on a railroad tracks and just waiting for a train or something? It's not a good idea. There's nothing wrong with trying to, trying to do what's expected of you. That's how I made it here. Whatever, this is fine. My cast can save foxes only. The show must go on after all. The winky face of Moxie. <laughs> Six weeks later. And where, is this Hot Springs? No, no wait, this is, what am I doing? That's, that's, this is the springtime, not the winter. Interesting. Another wonderful day to be Moxie. Let's get out there and do our best. All right, so we're doing another murder mystery thing. Awesome. It's oddly quiet. Sure, we haven't had any guests in a while, but where the heck are my friends? They're at Hot Springs, probably. Let's just go check this room, why not? Bacon, all right. All right. Chai doesn't seem to be in there. All right. Salt and pepper? No one is here. Okay, good news. Okay. Oh, letter. Letter of resignation. Wait, what? Well, that can't be right. Good one, guys. Let's see how far this joke goes. Moxie, this is a letter from all of us. The short story is, we quit. So yeah, we're not actors. Well, Chai is, but we don't want to do this murder mystery thing anymore. We were barely scraping by, and it's not going to get any better. It's just kind of a waste, really. We followed you out here in the first place and eat rabbits to eat rabbits, not turn out to be a bus. All we did was make them build a wall to keep us out. So that was lame. We gave you a chance for a pretty long time, considering the way we are. So you're welcome, and see you back to, in Ginseng, yeah, Ginseng, when you finally give up. Pepper, any others. Oh my god. Sh should I keep reading? You know what, I guess I'll keep reading because that seems like the logical thing. Yeah, eh, sorry for letting Pepper write hers first. Figured it'd be a bummer, and it was, but you got at me to pick up the pieces. I'll begin by saying Madam Saltzworth wishes you are her sincerest farewells. Well, you know how bad I am in the whole drama thing, but you always let me put in my own brand of humor anyways. You're pretty good at this theater stuff. Moxie, you ought to pursue that instead. Happy space. So be a big shot actress and even a director. You probably don't want to come back to Ginson. So sorry for not saying goodbye in person. I'll miss you, pal. So. You should come home. Chai. <laughs> wow, Chai. <laughs> Those guys. No, they should have realized going home isn't an option for me. Because of her mother. Her mother's there. And she doesn't want to go home though, her mother. I just have to work even harder. Time to find a brand new cast. And when everyone hears about how great the Foxy Lodge is doing, they're all come begging their old jobs back. Yeah. Ha. Moxie, you had your crew leave you. Moxie is unbreakable. Moxie's not an unreliable quitter like her friends. No, of course not. This little setback ain't stopping me. Yep, just need to find and hire and rehearse with two or three people who'd be willing to drop everything and work for little to no money. Or I could just put some kind of new spin on the Foxy Lodge. One man show? Bed and breakfast? No, I can't cook whatsoever. Go to Mochi and learn to quit and cook. What I need is inspiration. I'll go enjoy the fresh mountain air. Man, I haven't had a day off in forever. This was a blessing in disguise. Moxie, you do need a day off. Some, okay. Oh no, even the weather is gloomy. Figures it'd be cloudy on this day off. I'm not letting it get me down though. No. Let's go get inspired. Okay, so the mountains. I'm guessing we have to go this way now. Like, I'm, I'm guessing. Okay, so. How you doing? Okay, we don't have a pass, so. There was somebody else though. No, or somebody else over there. Dang it, we can't go over there. Dang it. So that, wait, that is time and space, isn't it? Was it actually time and space? I'm not sure. I am not 100% sure. Maybe I'm reading into that too much. So, ooh. Okay. Ah, they wouldn't let me in. Maybe I should just go home. Hi there, looking for a place to stay. Ah, uh, no, I, I was just talking to myself. About frosting, right? Sad how they don't even let a harmless little mouse in. Oh, a mouse. Oh. I understand how they feel, though. 
I'm from a mice only village, but um, the outside world, it isn't as scary as you think. Sure isn't, but seriously, if you wanted to stick around here for the night, my place has lots of vacancies. Picking up strangers? Maybe the world is more dangerous than I thought. It isn't like that, I run a hotel. <laughs> oh, still, no thank you. Oh God, picking up strangers. <laughs> Moxie, you turned into that type of person. <laughs> no Moxie, you walk by here often. Miss me, didn't ya? I get it. No one else hangs out around here, so you're desperate for some company. You're making a lot of presumptions. How's the guard business showing ya? Don't your legs get tired from standing in one place all day? Not at all. A job's a job. You're not working just any job, though. Everyone's your... Everyone you turn away from this gate comes straight over to my place. Hearts and wallets open wide. So thanks for that. I'm sure all the little bunnies you're protecting are grateful, too. You think this wall benefits both parties, then? No, I think it's stupid. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't take advantage of this situation, right? I understand. Whatever pays the bills. Hey, exactly. You really get me, mister. God, Moxie, you have such a positive attitude. Dang. I, I like this kind of person with that. Ooh, we got another person. Okay. Looks like it's gonna rain. If you're traveling away, it's... Hope you brought an umbrella, miss. What about you, Pipsqueak? It's Pipsqueak, wow. Did you know an owl works here? If you're trying to take shelter, you picked a pretty bad spot. Oh, Miss Nutmeg, I'm her replacement. Her replacement since when? About a month and a half ago. Irregardless, this is my post from which I deliver the post. Ha! So she got fired then. Oh, no, no, we just switched stations. I mean, an owl shouldn't be going to, to and from frosting. It'd be weird. Why is it weird? She's been here longer than I have, but of course those rabbits still wouldn't trust her. Rabbits can't trust an owl? Well, actually understandable, but... Well, you know how people are. Miss Nutmeg's a friend, oh mine, no. I trust her, so you don't have to be mad at me, or nothing. I wasn't mad. Stupid to be mad about something you could have seen coming a mile away. That looks like the mad face, actually. Hey, I just realized something. You were on that one place just up the road, right? With the uh, uh, improv mystery dramas. And, did, and diddly do, little man. I am the great, popular, and successful Foxy, owner of the Foxy Lodge. Successful, huh? Cool, cool. Nice to meet you. The name's Nug, Nugget, Nugget, Nugget. Yes. Okay. Oh, dang, I skipped again. Oh, I wouldn't be good at that. Besides, I'm already working here. I'm guessing Moxie asked if she wanted to join, or he. I'm guessing he, because I remember seeing a he somewhere. Yeah, I just figured it was worth asking. Yep, I'm correct. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I did not. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, what the heck? Someone ought to replace this sign. It's totally illogical. LL. Wow. Okay, so I can't go that direction. And I can't go this direction. I can't go this way, nor do I want to. So, how about this way? Can't go that way. Wow. I thought that'd be like a secret passage. So it looks like I'm going to the treat direction. I can talk to Mochi again. Wow. This place looks different without any snow, I swear. I'm sure Mochi's in there, but no matter how many times I walk by this place, I can't bring myself to knock. So she does want to talk to Mochi slash slash treat and stuff. If I'm getting Moxie's gender wrong, I will kill myself, I swear. Guess I'll wait inside the hot springs until it clears up. So it just started raining miraculously. All right. Wait, didn't tree work here? Good morning. What awful weather, am I right? No answer. Oh, surprised to see me here? I know. I don't give myself many breaks. Can't really afford to, honestly. Afford to, honestly. You have some nerve showing up your, your face here, Miss Fox. Oh, come on. Huh? Well, what's the problem? Do you mean to say all this time you've never considered our feelings as expected of a backstabber like you? Backstabber? What are you accusing me of? You set up an end to take advantage of the situation in Frosting when you knew perfectly well we were already here. Did you kind of rub all stolen business in our faces? Why else would you have avoided coming here for so long? You, you got it all wrong. I just... I've been busy. Busy disrespecting our struggling hot springs. Shame on you, Miss Fox. 
I'm telling you, that's not why I... Ugh. I can't even go somewhere nice to relax, can I? And Treat's here. Treat, you'll set the story straight, won't you? Tell them I'm innocent. What did you do? I didn't do anything. That's the whole point. I forget it. There's something more important for us to talk about. Um, Treat, my buddy, my pal. You're a true friend, aren't you? The kind who wouldn't abandon me overnight without any warning. <laughs> Cheesy smile. Trying to get away with it, something. Anyway, I've got some positions to fill. Do you remember what I asked you before? If I changed the story? Do you think you'd reconsider my offer? I'm still working here. You won't change your mind, but even to help a friend? Do you, they have you under some kind of harsh contract, is that why? Trying to steal our employee now, too. How low will this box sink? God. Everyone has problems, okay? Like you even understand what I'm dealing with right now. What I mean is... I don't have to stand here and be insulted like this. Goodbye, Moxie. Wow. I'm sorry, Moxie. Hmm. Could we have been too aggressive with her? Poor thing. And some breaks, Annie. Business world is a ruthless one. What happened? We've seen a decline in guests the past several weeks. Assumed to be due to that Fox Mystery Theater gimmick. She made quite a scene, but if she was trying to sabotage us, there's no reason to feel bad for her. Sounds like her friends left. It's raining really hard out there, so I, I came back inside. Miss Fox, please forgive our rudeness. Would you mind explaining your side of things? Depending on what you have to say, we'll provide you an umbrella for your walk home. She's gonna cry, is she? Oh no. Oh god, no. Oh, that's adorable. Oh. Hmm. It was nice of them to apologize and all, but I mean, come on, I didn't deserve that. They probably assumed the worst just because I'm a fox. Rude. That's odd. What is? From what Mochi told me, and from what I've seen, you're the kind of person who likes those kind of expectations. Oh yeah? What else did she say about me? Oh, dang it, I keep skipping. Ha, <laughs> huh, yeah, I'm a failure, all right. I can't do anything as a fox. I'm guessing Mochi said that she doesn't do much or something? That's what I'm guessing. I couldn't eat a rabbit. I couldn't run a hotel. I couldn't prove to my mom that I'm into. I'm not a good for nothing daughter. Okay, I've been getting the gender right. Good, good. So Moxie's really disappointed in herself. It's okay, Moxie. It's okay. We all love you. I don't know what to do now. Everyone said it was a waste of time. We barely made enough to get by, so I guess I kind of get it. They're allowed to give up, but me. I don't have a place to go back to anymore. I'd just be an embarrassment. It's like I'm finally being punished for setting up a place for scummy foxes like me to live in. Um, snacking on rabbits all day long. Moxie. Uh, it, it's all pretty stupid, right? You think I'm an idiot too, don't you? I don't. Come on, it won't hurt my feelings. I've heard it a million times from my mom. It isn't stupid. You try your best. Um, this, this story... This story. It stopped raining. Yeah. I'm quiet. They, they, they can't have a conversation right now. Come inside. Oh, no, I better not. Mochi would enjoy your company. It's up to you, though. Uh, we will go inside next time. <laughs>